This video is sponsored by AppMaker. AppMaker is a WordPress plugin that converts WooCommerce website to mobile app. The mobile app builder helps you create native Android and iOS mobile application. Get an opportunity to grab 30% off by being the first 200 signups. Get the link in the description. Hello and hi, welcome back to Educate WordPress where we talk everything and all about WordPress. I'm Aisha and in this video we'll be talking about how you can add a content view in a grid layout for your blog or any page uh, setup in your WordPress website. So uh, this is my regular uh, blog page. So this is the blog page and you can see there are different content, but they are uh, layered step by step, like one post here and then there's another post. So I want to convert it into a grid layout where I can uh, view multiple contents at the same time and choose which one I have to read. So for that, we're going to install a plugin and see how it is done. So before we get into the video, don't forget to subscribe as we come up with videos on WordPress and WooCommerce every now and then to get your website performance up and top. So first of all, we're going to go to the dashboard and in the dashboard, we're going to install a plugin. So in the plugin section, I'm going to add new. You can just click on to add new and the plugin I'm going to look for is the content view plugin. So this is one of the famous plugin uh, that we use, uh, like the most popular plugin that uh, people use to uh, have their posts in a grid uh, manner or you can filter the, uh, filter the contents out. So uh, this already has one lakh plus uh, installation, 100k installation. So I'm going to just install it and activate the plugin. Once the plugin is activated, you will be able to see the content views plugin right here and I'm just going to go to the settings. So uh, this is the settings part. So uh, we're going to go to the all views in the sidebar. So here, uh, this is the view. Uh, we have to create a layout of how our posts are going to view like. So uh, for that, we're going to go to the add new. So I'm just going to click on add new and here you have to add the title. So uh, maybe you will have different sections of your blog. Uh, your blog is categorized into different sections or uh, if your home page or any page, this, uh, this is not only for the blog page, but uh, any page. So uh, if you have any particular page that want to display certain content, those can be uh, displayed right here. So here I'm going to uh, go for the blog page. So this will be my blog page. I already have an existing blog page, but uh, I'm going to display it in another page. All right. So here uh, you'll be able to see uh, the blog page I've added, then the content type, what other content type is. So I'm going to uh, add the post and here you can also add post IDs. So each post has an ID. So if you want to include uh, certain posts or exclude or uh, limit them, uh, it's also there. So uh, in one page, I want to display 10 uh, posts. So you can add the numbers right here. Then again, choosing the uh, contents. So for that, you can just click on to the taxonomies right here, or you can use a keyword or others to uh, filter out the content and display it on a particular page. So I'm going to choose for the categories right here. So from here, you will be able to see different categories that I have. So I have architecture, art, cast, food, design, nature, etc. and everything. So I'm going to click on the trends. That's the category I'm going to add. So if you have another category, you can add them as well. So uh, that's again there. And if you have any operators, like uh, you want uh, the post that uh, if you are selecting multiple, uh, you want to uh, only display the uh, posts that are in both the categories or that are not in the both categories. So you can also choose that uh, by clicking on the operator right here. So you can just save this and uh, that is saved. So also you have the display settings right here. So how you want to display that? Uh, there is a grid that is collapsible uh, list, the scrollable. So how you want it, you can also choose that. So uh, as I said, I want in the grid and item per row, I want uh, it to be three. Uh, let's that's the most chosen number. So uh, I'm going to add it. And there are some other settings as well. You can just uh, go through that. So uh, we have to show it in uh, excerpt and everything. So you can just click on to the update preview. And here you will be able to see the contents that are going to come in your page. So as you uh, make any changes right here, let's say I'm going to add it uh, four. And when you just click on to the update preview, that will be again be updated. All right. So uh, that's 
uh, that's there and then I'm going to save this. So uh, we have saved this, but how are we going to uh, display it on a page? So for that, we're going to go to the page and here we're going to add, uh, create a new page. So here I'll be adding a new page. So since we had uh, chosen uh, the trend, uh, we're going to maybe add, I'm just going to add the blocks, uh, blog section. And here I'll be pasting my shortcode. All right. So here I'll, I'm just clicking onto the publish and my page is now published. So you can just view the page right here. You can just click onto the view and you will be taken into the view, uh, the page that we have just added uh, with the content view. All right. So here is the page. So this is the page. This is the content. There's a read more option and uh, uh, more options are also available. So if you want to add uh, like change colors or anything, you can go for the opt for the pro version. And if you want to uh, change uh, this, uh, so uh, we have an existing blog that we already did. So this is a new blog page. So for that, you can just go to the menu section and assign the menus as we did in the previous video. You can just check that how you can add the menus. So that's it. That's how you can add your grids in your post and make your feed wonderful and colorful by organizing and adding contents regularly. So that's it. That's all from my side. And if you like this video, give a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. We'll be back with more such videos. We'll see you in another video. Bye.